Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you step by step on how I touch up my hair color. So recently I did touch up my hair. I've mentioned to you guys before that I only apply bleach to my hair about every four months or so. And obviously I do color my roots in between, otherwise I would have a huge contrast of dark to blonde hair. My technique and my look has changed up a bit. As you can see, it's a lot more shadowed and a lot more soft than I used to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that today. So the first thing I have to say is I did not film it and Adam really highly suggested that I do film it. We have tried in the past and honestly, it's just so difficult with the angles. So that's why I didn't film it, but I knew that I wanted to share with you guys the steps. So I did take photos of every step. So in this video, I'm going to explain step by step what the process is along with those pictures so that you have a visual and proof that I actually do do my own hair. I'm also going to show you exactly which products I used to get there. All right, so the first step that I do, and this is obviously only recommended for someone that does have darker roots. So someone that is naturally blonde, obviously you can go ahead and skip the first step. So for that first step to lighten your roots, you can obviously go in with a high lift, on which I've done many videos. But for this, because I really wanted to really brighten my hair, I went in and bleached my roots. So I used the Wella Blondor with 20 volume. I know this is 10, but I ran out of the 20. And I mixed those two equal parts, applied it all over my roots, and only left that for about 15, 20 minutes. I got this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous coppery orange colored roots as you will see here. And this is obviously the scariest part of this whole process. So I just apply that freely, especially in the back where I highlight even less often. I had a lot longer roots back there. So I apply that from root all the way to where my blonde starts. The only thing you have to be careful is obviously not to go over pieces that are already blonde. So after that is done processing, I shampoo and condition my hair. And at this point, because there is still a few more steps that I need to do in order to get to my desired hair color, I don't want to mess with my hair anymore. So I like to just let my hair completely air dry. I actually normally do this first step at night. And then the next day when the hair is completely dry, I go in and weave the highlight, which is the second step. And to the bleach, I always add the Redken's pH bonder. Um, I would highly recommend always using a pH bonder in your lightener. You guys know that for years I did use Olplex, but with having to adjust the formula and adjust the timing, I have switched to the Redken pH Bonder and it's just so much easier for the fact that you don't have to adjust anything. You do everything as you've been doing for years. It really just makes the hair more vibrant and healthier and obviously prevents a lot of breakage and damage. Obviously you can weave this however you like. Some people like to weave across this way, meaning placing the foils horizontally this way. I like to put them vertically. So once my head is full of foils and I've got all the highlights and balayage pieces in all the areas that I want them, then for the third step, and that is to take care of all that orange hair that's been left behind from the foils, Obviously that hair color is not going to stay that bright orange. So I go ahead and I mix an 8NN by Redken's Color Fusion and mix that with a 10 volume. And what this is going to do is this is definitely going to bring down all that orange. It's going to neutralize it. It's going to get rid of all those brassy tones and leaving you with a very neutral light level eight, which is extremely hard to get on anyone that is naturally brunette and say like a level six or darker, which I am. And for this, you definitely wanna use a 10 volume developer because all you want to be doing to that orange hair is really depositing that color and really not lifting any more levels in that hair. So once the bleach is on your hair in those foils and you have the 8N with the 10 volume sitting on the rest of your hair, then I process for about 20 minutes and I am ready to shampoo and condition. So you would think that at this point we are almost done, but the most crucial part in my opinion is coming up. So after I've rinsed off all that color, and what I like to do is I like to rinse that eight in off the hair before I remove the foils. 
only to ensure that the blonde that is inside those foils is not getting stained in any way by that 8N level. After the hair is completely rinsed, I just wring out my hair, and with that remaining color of the 8N with the 10 volume, and that's going to be used to smoke out the roots. Depending on how dark or how smoky you want those roots, you can add a little bit of 6N. If you do want it a little bit darker and kind of smokier, I personally like to use just the 8N. So I apply that about an inch down all over except for the front pieces because we want to leave those face framing money pieces as bright as we've lightened them. So I let that process for about 10 minutes, then I rinse that off once again, and now we are ready to tone. So I'm sure you guys have all heard my magic toning formula. This is my favorite formula to tone up blondes in the salon and that is with Shades EQ. I swear by these toners. And so the formula for that is one ounce of the color, one ounce of crystal clear, just to dilute the 9T to a level 10, and then adding two ounces of the processing solution. This is what activates the color. So then I apply that all over my hair. Obviously all it will be toning is any area that is lighter than a level nine. Nothing that is darker than that will be affected by this. And with this toner, all I do is flash tone, which means that I literally only leave it like one to three minutes. This happens very quickly. And obviously at this point, I have lifted to a very beautiful light blonde. So I really just want to maximize that blonde, but there are definitely no yellow or orange tones in my blonde. If your hair is ever still yellow or orange, the toner is not going to work on that. All right, so once my hair is completely toned, I'm ready to shampoo. I'm going to go in with the step two of the Redken's pH bonder. And you always do that before shampooing your hair. So you apply that all over the hair, leave it on for 10 minutes. I would not leave it any more than that. Then I rinse that. Then I follow with the Monet Renew shampoo. It is the perfect balance of hydration and nutrients that my hair needs after having been lightened and colored. And then for sure, I go in with the smoothing deep conditioner treatment. I've talked about this in my live video. This stuff is literally like butter, but without being heavy on the hair. Um, honestly, none of the Monate products are heavy on the hair, but this one, it smells amazing. It's just so hydrating. It makes the hair feel super silky soft, but in a very natural way. And after that, we are finally done. Once I'm out of the shower, I like to use a super hydrating, good oil for my hair. Um, as you guys know, I'm absolutely in love with a Rejuvenique Monate oil. So that's what I apply on my roots and what's left over on my hands through my ends after just bleaching your hairs, again, to let your hair naturally air dry. And when you are using great products to A, protect your hair and you know, products that are going to nourish the hair further, your hair really will feel amazing. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope that was easy to follow. Obviously, if you guys still have any questions, leave them down below. If you do like videos like this where I share my formulas and my professional techniques with you guys, do give this a thumbs up. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.